Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP blog and now guys, we are going to learn in this video about how to delete the post. So guys, while deleting the post, we want to delete the image also. Okay, so we'll be deleting as per this ID. So guys, let's get started. So let's move to our post view at this table design at the delete button guys. So let's go to our editor and here is the post view file on here is our delete button. So now guys we are going to start with the form where form and this button will be inside form from a tag to let's make it to button and this href to type this will be a submit button. Let's name this button as post delete button and inside this button only i want to give a value which value will be the post id so let's copy from our table id and done and now guys when you click the submit button so this button when you click you are taking with the post method where to code.php guys all set so when you click this button you will with the post method you will take the value of this with this name to code.php so let's go to code.php and create a button check with the help of a set function where with the method post we have come over here as post button delete okay and now let's create a variable for post id is equal to where is your post id so the post id is inside the button name itself so let's copy this button name again and paste that so you are getting your post id guys now so from this id you will delete the record of it so guys, let's type the query so dollar query dollar query is equal to inside double quotes let's type the code delete from the table name that is posts so i'll just show you that post table so here is the post table guys let's copy this post name let's give a condition where id is equal to inside single code dollar post id all set so now guys inside this you can give a limit that will be one and let's execute this query so with we will create one variable query run and we will execute the query with the help of mysql query function so first will be your database connection and then your query guys all set so once is this when it is successful you are going to show the message and delete the image too guys okay so when you're deleting we don't need this image as a backup so let's remove that also so let's uh, let me just copy from below okay let's copy this and paste so now guys we will remove this if condition we don't require only we require that is your file delete one okay so now to take the field name the image name how will you get that so we have to get from this post id itself so you can just create one query over here so let's check img query is equal to where will be select star from your post table where id is equal to this and limit also so let's copy that full thing paste here and from this post table you are going to let's execute this guys first dollar img result is equal to with the help of mysqli underscore query function where dollar database connection and your check image query so once this is successful you will check that obviously your data is going to be available then what you're going to do guys now let's create the result data is equal to where mysqli fetch array function and inside this your image result guys 
So let's copy this and paste here. And from this response data, you will get your image name. Okay. So you can directly type image. So this image is nothing but your database column field name, image field name. Okay. So this is the data. So from there, you're going to store in one variable that is your mm, image. Okay. So this image you will going to pass over here. All set. That's it, guys. So you need to first push this first and then your delete query. Okay. Because if it's delete, then it will not be able to search the record, right? So first you have to search and keep this in that inside this variable and then delete your record. So once it is success, then you will unlink the image and you will show the message as host deleted successfully all set so once deleted we will redirect here the home page so which is that home page post view.php so let's paste here post view.php oops it should be in single quotes done guys and now let's test it let's save refresh so guys i'll just show you the image so here is one php tutorial and html tutorial two images guys and now let me delete the html data so let's refresh and click to delete let's delete post deleted successfully the post data also is deleted guys let me just refresh over here and yep so the data is deleted let's see the image is deleted or not okay image is not deleted so let's see the code what happened over here okay so here guys one mistake which i find over here fetch all instead of array so we have to get mysql i fetch array so it will get the data and store over here so this was one mistake and now guys um i think there is no mistake let's try once again so let me just delete this and let's add one dummy data so i'm going to add html 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 syntax so some data let's post here upload the image html.jpg save post post created successfully let's go back so as you can see that html is here and the image also is there now guys let's delete once again so let's click to delete perfect post deleted and let's see image image also is deleted guys so that was a simple mistake which i just messed out with the fetch all instead of array okay so just add this array it will run fine so guys in this video that's it we have completed about post deletes from our database in php mysql